نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقه قولي واجعل لي وزيرا من اخلي اللهم فكهنا في الدين امين ثم امين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته سورة التقاثر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحاق متقاثر الحاق The root of alha is lam ha wow It means to divert to distract to disturb to make a person lose concentration to make somebody careless or to make ignorant Kum is a pronoun for the third person masculine plural. Al-haqum means diverts you, distracts you, or makes you careless or ignorant. What? At-takathuru. The root word is kaf sa ra, meaning abundance. Something in plentiful. This word of Ta, before the root word, is, it means in Arabic grammar, this ta refers to something which is mutual between two groups or something which is mutual between two people. So, at-takasuru means what? That there is a mutual competition of abundance and there is a mutual competition to increase the worldly blessings and the worldly possessions. So this is what takasur is. So now if you relate the verse, it would mean, al-hakumu takasur would mean that the mutual competition of abundance or the desire of competing in Abundance and in excess of the worldly desires is what diverts you, makes you careless and makes you forgetful and makes you ignorant. Till when? Hatta until Zurtumul Maqabir. Zurtum, you visit. What? Al Maqabir. Qaf ba ra means what? The grave. Al Maqabir. And well, w- till when will you be ignorant? And till when will you keep on being forgetful about your rights and about your duties and about your obediences? Hatta until, until you visit the graves. Kalla. Absolutely not. It is a negating word for a negative verb. Absolutely not. So far. Soon, ta'lamuna, ayn, lam, mim. Ilm means to know. Sawfa ta'lamun, soon, in near future, will you know? Will you get to know about it? Will you, will you acquire knowledge about it? Sawfa ta'lamun, soon will you know. Summa, then, kalla, absolutely not. Sawfa, soon, ta'lamuna, you will know. Kalla, absolutely not. Law, if, ta'lamuna, the same root word, and this is what? This is an imperative verb saying what? You will know. How will you know? Ilm al Ilm means with the knowledge of. al means certainty, surety. So you will know how with the knowledge of certainty. And then what will happen? La tara al jahim. Lam zabar la, when it comes before a word, it 
stresses and it highlights that something is for sure. And secondly, when there is at the start of the word, there is that lam with the zabar, and in the end of the verb, there is noon with a shad, then this stresses even more and this it highlights that it is even more sure and that it is something is like next to being definite. La tarawunna. Ta is for you. And ra hamzaya means to see something. So la tarawunna means what? Surely and definitely you will see. What? al jahim jahim is again the name of a part of the hellfire allahumma ajirna min nar summa this is a conjunction meaning what? Then. Summa, then what will happen? La tarawunnaha. Lam zabur la means sure. And then there is a shad noon. There's a noon with a shad. So it means what? Surely, definitely. You will see ha is a pronoun and it is a pronoun for what? It is a pronoun for feminine and the hellfire is considered as feminine. So this is a pronoun pointing towards the hellfire. That is the jahim. So you will see what? Latarawunnaha. You will see it. How will you see it? Ayn al yaqeen. Ayn is the eye. And yaqeen means with certainty, with surety. And you will see it with the eye of certainty. Then what will happen? Summa. Then. Latus alunna. Surely, definitely. Ta is for you. Seen. Hamza. Lam. Sa'ala means question, to ask, to interrogate. Latus alunna means what? Definitely and surely you will be asked. Surely and definitely you will be questioned or interrogated. When? Yaumar izin. That day. About what? Anin na'im. An means about an na'im. The root word of na'im is noon ain mim. Na'am means something which is good. And na'im is something which is extremely good, something which is pleasurable. And na'im actually refers to the blessings and the bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So if you relate this verse, that day they will be asked about the players and about the blessings of Allah. Now, repeating the whole verse again. Al-Hakum diverts you at takasur the mutual competition for abundance. Hatta until Zortum you will visit al maqabir the graves. Kalla absolutely not. Sofa soon talamuna you will know. Summa then Kalla absolutely not. Sofa soon talamuna you will know. Kalla absolutely not. Lau if talamuna ilm al yakin with the knowledge of certainty. La tarawunna for sure for definitely you will see al jahim. And the Jahim, when you see it, Summa, then Latarawunnaha, surely you will see it, Ain al Yakin, with the eye of certainty. Summa, then Latus Alunna, 
definitely and surely you will be asked or interrogated. Yauma is in that day and in Naim about your blessings, about your bounties and about the pleasures. Allahumma ajirna minan nar rabbibni li indaka baitan fil janna rabbana la tuzigh qulubana ba'da iz hadaytana wa hab lana min ladunka rahma innaka antal wahhab